Hi, I'm Hannah North, and today I will introduce you to Octon and step you through some examples to kick off your quantum matter exploration. Octon is a cloud accessible quantum lab for performing sophisticated research and enriching scientific education. Establishing a quantum research lab is expensive and time consuming. To provide widespread access to quantum hardware and promote the development of a quantum workforce, Inflection created Octant. From across the world, research scientists, students, and learners of all levels can now create and control quantum matter with Octant. Quantum matter is any substance which requires quantum mechanics to describe its fundamental behavior or properties. One such type of quantum matter is Bose-Einstein condensate. A Bose-Einstein condensate, or BEC, is a collection of extremely cold atoms with a special property. A BEC is a macroscopic object which displays quantum effects. Many atoms participate in the same quantum state. This makes BECs a convenient tool for technology applications of quantum mechanics. The experimental achievement of BEC was recognized with the 2001 Nobel Prize in Physics. What does it mean to manipulate quantum matter? Octant allows users to dynamically control reconfigurable optical fields, a method known as painted potentials. These optical fields and their resulting potentials affect the BEC, and this control can be used to explore quantum phenomena such as interference, nonlinear behavior, and applications such as atomtronics. The Octant platform includes a web application and a Python API to connect users with a hardware system for performing physics experiments. The Octant hardware generates and manipulates real BEC in our remote lab and delivers scientific results to users. These results include minimally processed images and basic analysis. Octant allows users to design and run experiments on real hardware. Jobs are individual experiments designed by you. A job specifies how you wish to control the Octant hardware, the input parameters you choose are programmed on the hardware, and the results are returned to you. Octant offers this access in two ways, a user-friendly web application, a one-stop shop for managing your account, checking out helpful resources, and more. You can submit jobs and check out your results with a graphical user interface. There are helpful tips all over the web app, so keep an eye out for informational icons which feature tooltips as well as our expanding resource library. The Octant API, or Octopi for short, is a Python package that offers advanced users more power and flexibility, including batch runs and data analysis. It's pip installable and comes with example Jupyter notebooks to make it even easier to get started. We will dig into Octopi in a later section. Getting started with Octant is absolutely free. All you need is an account. When you need to buy more jobs, the simple pay-as-you-go pricing makes it easy to just buy what you need. In the next segment, we will cover the Octant workflow and make and manipulate quantum matter with the Octant web app. Welcome to the Octant web app walkthrough. From our homepage at octant.inflection.com, register for a free Octant account. Then return to the homepage and log in. With your free account, you can submit real jobs at no cost. Additional jobs are available for purchase from the Buy Jobs or under the New Job tabs. The number of jobs you may submit per day is known as your job quota. You can purchase more jobs, which will increase your daily job quota. On the My Jobs page, Octant provides convenient utilities for organizing and managing experimental data, tracking job quotas, and purchasing additional jobs. The web app and Python experiences are integrated. Job and account data shows up in both places. If you like, you can submit jobs from Python, check your job progress in the web app, and buy jobs from your phone. Octant provides a lot of experimental flexibility, the full extent of which is available in Octopi. The Octant web app offers quick and easy access to a subset of these experimental capabilities. This is great for students or new users. In the web app, choose from two job types, BEC generator and barrier manipulator. Selecting a job type turns on or off different experimental stages within the Octant hardware and exposes the appropriate controls. All job types are submitted to the same queue. The first job type we will run is a, is a BEC generator. This job allows users to experiment with the generation of quantum matter in the form of BEC. 
In octant, a BEC is generated by cooling rubidi rubidium atoms to nearly absolute zero. Below a critical temperature, some of these atoms condense into the lowest energy state of the system, occupying the, quant the same quantum state, the BEC. This job allows users to control the number of atoms which make up the condensate as the ensemble is cooled. Not every step of the BEC generation process is user-defined. The BEC generator controls begin when the initial ensemble of atoms is confined in a trap and already extremely cold by everyday standards, roughly seven orders of magnitude colder than room temperature. The user may control how the ensemble is further cooled via the process of forest radio frequency, RF, evaporation. Here, a user-defined control sequence of powers and frequencies is applied and ejects the hottest atoms from the cloud lowering the average energy and cooling the ensemble. This is much like cooling off a hot drink by blowing across the top of a cup. When the hottest atoms or highest energy atoms are removed, the atomic ensemble is cooled. In a well-designed RF evaporation sequence, the total number of atoms decreases, the ensemble temperature decreases, and the fraction of the remaining atoms in the lowest energy or ground state increases. I will use the drag and drop or numerical entry to enter parameters for this job. Watch out for tool tips for helpful reminders about what each field means. For more information, there are additional resources available over here in the sidebar. The default parameters will generate a BEC. All you need to do is name and submit your job. When I click Submit Job, Octum will run my experiment and prepare the output. Notice how the job status changes from pending, eventually to running, and finally to complete. This will depend on the length of the job queue. How do we measure the outcome of a quantum matter experiment run with Octant? The raw outputs of Octant experiments are images taken of the atoms. For BEC generator jobs, the imaging technique is called time of flight imaging. Time of flight imaging is performed after the atoms are released from the magnetic trap and allowed to freely expand. After a user defined amount of time, the time of flight, a camera captures the density profile of the atomic cloud in free fall. By varying the time of flight, you can observe the cloud at different points in this expansion process. Importantly, in time of flight imaging, it is possible to distinguish the portion of the atoms that, in the ensemble that occupy the BEC from those that do not. These atoms are described as thermal and they behave classically. From the density profile, several properties of the atomic ensemble, including the total atom number, the temperature in nanokelvin, and the number of atoms in the condensed and thermal portions of the ensemble are returned with this type of imaging for BEC generator jobs. For all job types, crucial information about the spatial variation of the quantum phase of the BEC becomes available in time of flight. The results of a BEC job are a mixture of images from the experiment at different stages, as well as the fits used to derive quantities such as the atom number and temperature of the cloud. The full input values can be found in the drop-down bar under view data, and the summary is available in the sidebar. The MOT fluorescence image is included for diagnostic purposes. MOT refers to the magneto-optical trap, which is the first stage of cooling and trapping atoms in the experiment. Octant hardware performs many stages of atom trapping and cooling in each job run. Images of the MOT are included to monitor the health of the system. When a time of flight result is accompanied by an atypical MOT image, this indicates a hardware issue may have occurred. Please contact us and rerun your job at the next available online interval using the clone job function. Experimental results are all derived from this image, the time of flight image. Details of this technique can be found in web resources. This cloud has fallen for 12 milliseconds and displays a hallmark of a BEC, a bimodal distribution. The sharp peak in this density distribution represents the condensate. From this image, we calculate the atom number in the thermal and condensed phases and the temperature of the entire ensemble. The units of these images are optical density. 
This quantity is a measure of the amount of light absorbed by the atoms while being illuminated by a laser beam. The amount of light absorbed in a region corresponds to the density of atoms there. The second type of job we will run is the barrier manipulator. In addition to BEC generation, a barrier manipulator job allows the user to manipulate the BEC using two repulsive optical barriers, whose heights and position along a single axis of the trap are user controlled. Barrier manipulation occurs after the RF evaporation process is complete. Barriers are used to manipulate the resulting atom cloud. Control of the barriers in this job types open up a wider space of quantum effects accessible to the user. This includes fundamental quantum effects such as tunneling, superposition, and interference. The barrier manipulator interface includes control of two properties per optical barrier, as well as the type of imaging and duration of the experiment. Barrier properties illustrated in this tooltip include the position of each barrier and the height of each barrier. Barrier jobs are compatible with two types of imaging time of flight, as well as in-trap imaging. I will select some barrier parameters for a simple experiment using the numerical entry. For this experiment, I will lower the height of the final barriers. To learn more about these input parameters, reference the, the web resources. Now I'll name my job and click Submit. When I click Submit, my job runs on, a hardware, on hardware that looks a lot like this. Returning to the web app, barrier jobs have fewer calculated outputs for both types of imaging. Within trap imaging, the atoms are exposed to a pulse of light, which is collected by a camera while the atoms are still magnetically trapped. The shadow of the atoms is used to reconstruct the spatially varying density of the system. Octant uses this type of imaging within the barrier manipulator toolkit to show the impact of the optical barriers manipulating the atoms within the magnetic trap. You cannot directly image the barriers themselves within trap imaging. Full input and output data is available under view data and a summary of input parameters is available in the sidebar. We have now covered two basic types of experiments you can perform remotely with Octin. Interested in more capabilities or analysis of this output data? You can download the input and output data for use with Octopi. In the next segment, we will cover the Octin Python API, or Octopi, and how to submit more complex jobs to Octin. Welcome to the Octin Python API walkthrough. Available on PyPy, Octant or Octopi is an object-oriented interface for creating, submitting, and retrieving results from experiments with ultra-cold quantum matter on Inflection's Octant Quantum Matter Services, or QMS, platform. In this segment, we will explore the basics of how you interact with Octant QMS using Octopi. Begin by creating an Octant account on the web. Then install Octopi with PIP. Reference our quick start guide for more instructions. Then get started with our example Jupyter Notebooks. Today, we will start with a notebook called Hello World. After authenticating our session by logging into my Octin account, we create an object representing our first experiment, a user-defined quantum matter or matter object for making or manipulating quantum matter. This is accomplished with the help of a quantum matter factory. 
This factory provides matter objects that control experiments carried out on the optant hardware. To make a quantum matter object with a factory, simply specify a temperature and the abstractions built into the API can handle the calculation of the RF evaporation sequence. Next, you can simply submit your, your matter object to Octant. This submits our job to run on the Octant hardware platform. Each matter object represents one run of the hardware. Just like in the web app, our job will progress through the running and eventually to the complete stages. We can also track the progress of this job in the web app. Now that our job is complete, we can fetch the results. Time of flight results are easily accessible for completed jobs with built-in plotting functions and access to the OD image data for analysis. Octopi offers a vastly expanded version of the Barrier Manipulator Toolkit. We can design our dynamic optical potentials by creating and manipulating one or more barrier objects, which are superimposed on the background magnetic potential that traps the atoms. Other optical potential objects are also supported. Users have control over the dy dynamic position in microns, the width in microns, energetic height, as well as the shape of barrier objects painted. Here I've specified a simple barrier object that begins at time zero and immediately begins to ramp in height for five milliseconds. The barrier exists for the entire experiment at the center of the trap. After the ramp is complete, the barrier holds for 15 milliseconds. To review these barrier dynamics, we use show dynamics. You can also view the potential in time using show potential. You can see our barrier ramping at various times. Finally, we will submit our barrier, we will add our barrier object to a quantum matter object. Now we can see the overall potential, including the magnetic trap with respect to time. Now that we are happy with our barrier experiment, Let's submit our object, our matter object to run. Now that our barrier experiment is complete, we can fetch the results and view them using inbuilt plotting functions. You can see here that our barrier has sliced the cloud around position zero. Because the web app and Octant usage are connected, you can use either utility to track the progress of your jobs in the queue. Octant provides functionality to submit multiple jobs in batches, scan parameters programmatically, and save or reference your full resolu resolution data for use at a later time. All of these functions are demonstrated in our walkthrough notebooks. Now you are familiar with the tools provided by Octant and Octopi to perform experiments with quantum matter an expanding library of demonstrations of quantum mechanical phenomena you can explore with Octon are also available. Interference. This and other demonstrations are left to the user to explore and can be found here. Thank you for viewing this walkthrough of the Octant Python API. Welcome to the Octant community. We're excited to offer this tool for the exploration of quantum matter.